Okay, my name is uh, Adams Asegame. I'm a Nigerian from Ososo in Akukwedo, local government of Edo State. I'm the pioneer chairman of this estate. My name is Bosun Ibikune, one of the residents of Vital Store Estate. Uh, a I'm the past um, vice chairman of the estate, through the regime of uh, Mr. Adams being our chairman then. I came to this estate some years ago, that's about five years now, 2019 if I'm precise. We moved in at that time, there were just very empty lands around and uh, there was a lot of uh, skepticism because people were feeling like, oh, how are we going to build our houses and move in when we haven't seen people doing the same? Uh, one of actually the first landlord in the estate. I came into the estate in 2019. Uh, that is when uh, there was, I think, let me see, I was actually the first person, the only person within my access then. And um, I think later, a few landlords started coming in, about one or two of them started coming in. So then how the Air Gas to Estates came into existence was uh, then about six of us that were actually living then. Because when I came in, there was no light since 2019. So I stayed for about two years. We started our meeting, that was in uh, 20, uh, I think that was in 2020, 2021. So we started the uh, ICASTU estate meeting. But then it does not have a name. So while we're doing the meeting in the meeting, so we said like, okay, what name should we call the estate? So then uh, we look at like, okay, people coming in here, they're actually building castles. Nobody here is building bungalows or probably building uh, smaller houses. Everybody coming here are building high castles. That is why I just felt like, okay, mm. since people are building high castles here, so let's just name the estate high castle estate. So that's how it came about. It. We held the first meeting in the house of one of the residents, and it was at that meeting some of us suggested how we were going to run the estate. You know, we wanted to hold forth. We didn't come in as proper executives anyway. All we came to do was hold forth so that we can grow the estate and hand it over. And that's what we did. We got uh, uh, one of the property owners now, the pastor in the church there, we got him to come to offer to give us his uh, account number so that we can pay monies into it. He agreed. And uh, in fact, we suggested names. There were names such as Boys Town Estates. Some people wanted us to retain it because that was the name it was known for then. Some people suggested names as uh, uh, Toa. Some people suggested names like... Uh, a, a lot of names were suggested. And somebody mentioned High Castle. And it, it was unanimously agreed in that meeting that the estate should be known as High Castle. So that's the... Uh, th that's how this estate started. Yeah. Ah, my earliest memory, that was in 2019. I think then... There was little or no houses around then. The houses then were still in construction. Then there was no light. And it was very, very tedious uh, for me then because I have to start, I have to run well 24-7. But one thing I noticed then was that the place is more secure. Like there was no, we didn't even have issue of probably robbery or anything, even as far as we were still little. And we were about three of us that completed our houses and moved in. So what the problem was going to be at that time was how we were going to get electricity because there wasn't light here. And so I made inquiries from neighbors across the fence on this uh, flank and the other side too. I made inquiries and they said the kind of houses that were coming up in this area are houses that will use very heavy gadgets and as such they won't allow us to use their lights. So the it was now left for us to think about how to get light. I started with so, some solar panels initially and I used it for more than a year. So but this is how we came about the electricity thing. We we some of us met, I, I think about uh, three or four of us met at that time and we talked about the issues. Then I called in a staff of the Ikeja Electric to come into the estate and uh, see how uh, we can bring in electricity. Then it was going to be a very big project, but he told us how to start. His advice was that if we could get uh, some a few number of poles from the main gates into the estate, 
some other people that own properties here will start asking questions. And so it worked out that way. We got the first five polls and people started asking questions. Then we got the uh, then secretary to add them in a group, in a WhatsApp group. And part of the thing I noticed then was that we, the, 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 the residents then were more like a family. We actually knew ourselves, the likes of uh, Mr. Wally, Mr. Chooks, Mr. Olu. We knew ourselves. A part of the memories, I think I remember during COVID, that was in 2020. Uh, I can remember we came together as one family. We, we, we even had a soccer a tournament and missed ourselves. We contributed money, bought a ram, we prepared it among ourselves. Then we started doing a house to house uh, uh, get together. So, which really brought us together as one family. So, it's one of the best memories I think I had since I've been here. Yes, well, when I came into the estate, like I mentioned earlier, it was a very scanty estate. We didn't have the roads we have today. We didn't have electricity. And uh, there, there were a number of things that were lacking. In fact, the security was a major problem at that time. Because we, we came in at a time when this One Million Boys saga was uh, trending at that time. And it was a very, very big problem for us. We even had... Uh, uh, some attacks after some time. And then we decided at that point that the gates at the main entrance, we were going to change it. We put, we fixed another gate there, and then we got some security. We, we initially started with vigilantes. They were patrolling around the estate and all that with what we could afford at that time because we were, we were just a few of us, you know. And uh, gradually we uh, started thinking of how to go about talking about the, uh, the, the documentation of the estate. And then we started from there. We went to uh, meet with the, the Omni less. We had robust talks with them, and they were willing to help us out at that time. And we also met uh, some top officials of the Lagos state government. We talked about these things. And I think right now, everybody is rest assured that we do not have a problem here. Mm, a, a lot of changes actually occurred, like uh, the issue of electricity. While I came in, there was no electricity, but I think now we actually have almost uh, about uh, 800 kVA of electricity in the estate, which is one of uh, the great achievements I've seen the estate has actually made. And another thing is, I think, the issue of the road. The, I think the road A now has a very good uh, road network. And I think another milestone I, I could talk about is that, okay, the house numbering. Then when I came, we didn't have anything like house numbering or anything. So it was just everything all together. So, but now there have been a lot of changes. And I think the development also is actually very massive now. So we have a lot of houses everywhere. Like then that was just bush left and right. And the security now is more, uh, um, it is more okay than then. I think we only had just one abuki at the gates, but I think now we have a very large security architecture on ground, which is a very good thing. Um, well, talking about the emergence of the new school, actually, uh, I would say the chairman is actually a friend of mine. So we actually began together. Uh, when we were still in the administration then we began together and he has he, 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 someone is he, a brother so when he told me i gave him the full support because i know he, he has a good heart for the estate and i know he understands what the estate needs so when he told me i said well he has all my support so i actually supported him i supported him. yes I, I mentioned earlier that we were holding forth at that time we did a number of things. We collaborated. Some members of the present day ESCOs were part of the ESCOs we later formed. We expanded the ESCO because when we started, we had only the chairman, the vice chairman, and the secretary. And later on, we had the uh, uh, treasurer and all that. But subsequently, we, we, some people stopped being executives. So we got the current chairman was a member of the executive was the vice chairman at the time. 
and then of course from where we stopped a lot started but before then we had mentioned it before that we are going to hold forth at the time the estate is well um, uh, of more residents coming to the estate you know everybody will pay more attention to the details especially when it comes to security when it comes to development and all of that there was a time where we had to you know cajole where we have to go begging people to pay but uh, of course today we, what we have now I, I don't think we should we need to be begging people to make payments anymore because uh -huh. security is a paramount thing, especially security and other aspects too you know there's a lot that has been done today the road construction for instance you know this pre current executive has done a lot in that um, uh, aspect and uh, i want to give them a lot of kudos they really tried in that capacity and um, we have uh, other things too that we're thinking of we are thinking of recreational clubs and other but we understand that this estate is still even at this point like we used to mention before that the estate is still evolving as time goes on we would definitely achieve all our aims I'm talking about improvements, I, I, I think they, they, they said uh, this is our own Jerusalem, and it will uh, picture of Jerusalem will definitely prosper. So if we maintain, we maintain, and the current schools that are there or the subsequent ones, they have the love of the estate at heart. So I think the estate will be well preserved for the future generation to come because anything you like, that is what you maintain. That is what you take care of. So I think all we need in the estate is just the hair schools that will be coming in at the current one to just try, love the estate, to take away their own selfish interests. Make sure that they put the estate first in everything they are doing. So I believe with that, the estate will grow wider than every other estate within our access. Well, as it is today, a lot of people have come visiting this estate and they've always been wowed. They've always wondered how come about a very lovely estate with beautiful edifices, beautiful houses, state of the house uh, designs and all of that. A lot of people have always been wowed. And then initially when we came in, I, I could tell, I knew a number of persons that actually came in here to build bungalows, especially bungalows. But when they started their construction, we had people that went back to demolish what they had already built and some of them that had to go to uh, strengthen the, uh, the structures so that it could, you know, they could convert it to duplexes and all of that. So you see, the environment that has been formed here uh, is very remarkable. Uh, and just like we, met, we always mention, this is one of the best estates in Alimosho. And in fact, like uh, the current chairman used to always say, the pride of Alimosho. Well, the advice I can give is just, well, we, the old landlords here, uh, I think we all lived in one love. Like, we, we, we shared one love and missed ourselves. Like, uh, I, I remember 2019, 2020, 2021. Uh, then we could even say, we could talk about all the landlords within the estate then. So, uh, that is to show you that we all love ourselves. Even if anything happens to one of us, every other person comes together to support each other. So I believe the new ones also should come with love. Let us all live in one accord. So I think with that, the head state will keep on development more and more. Well, if you look around this environment, if you look around the, the environment, you'll find out that it's difficult to find uh, an estate that is as big as this one. Now, this is the advantage we have. The estate is so big in such a way that it has a perimeter fence and then it already guarantees some level of security. So if, you, if we, after some time, eh, develop the security apparatus to be even more formidable than it is today, you will see that Estates that we took models from, 
would not even compete with this one because of the 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 nature of the environment, the size, and the way it is being administered. The management of this estate is doing a, a, a great deal, and we even expect that they will do very much more as time goes on. I'm not talking about specialty. I think uh, here yeah, uh, the development rate is so is so rapid, and then the kind of structures we have around are so encouraging. Then another thing is uh, the proximity, the road uh, proximity, the closeness of the estates to the road. From our estate now, uh, I think our estate will be one of the estates, I think uh, will be one of the estates amidst order that we are very close to the major road. So anybody can access the major road easily, get to their place of work or any other places at a little time. So I think this really made us uh, stand out out of other estates. Well, I cast to less as it is today. If you go around the estate, you'll still see a lot of uncompleted buildings. Uh, but we thank God for speech. We encouraged at that time, we encouraged a lot of people to come, people that were skeptical, people that didn't want to come in to quickly build their houses. Those of us that moved in early uh, encouraged others to come. And if you, if you look at the estate now, we've achieved about 70% growth. And so in a space of three years, we are going to achieve way more than that you know so the way it is now i i see an estate that is competing with estates like uh what's this estate on the island again uh the the one close to Aja. i see this estate competing with such estates in the next three years and then we the the people that live around here eh, got willing because those was what we used to be uh, scared about initially. We didn't want to have people that would be problematic, that would bring about uh, issues in the estate. And as God may have it, we have responsible residents in this estate, people that attach a lot of value to to uh, communal, to being to um, being to living together, coexistence, and they are doing a lot to you know, encourage one another to bring about development. I see people teaming together in clusters, in clusters, doing a lot of work around the estate. I see people responding to calls for meeting. I see a lot of people interested in the development of the estate. So I would tell you for free that this estate is one of the best estates in Lagos State as it is today. Well, my hopes and dreams about the estate is to see the estate being uh, more bigger than the way it is. I think I can say it is different from 2019 to this present time. So I believe in the next three years, I believe by then the road network everywhere would have been well done. Drainages, um, drainage um, system will be well equipped. Uh, I think we even have more supply. Like today now, I think they actually said uh, we are now in band A now, so which means we enjoy more power supply. So I believe we are progressing. So I feel in the next three years, this estate will really be where we, where we don't even expect it to be because uh, it would have expanded more than the way it is currently. So I think the expansion rate is, is rapid. I think it's rapid. 